All right, welcome, welcome. We wrapped up the uh, first season of this relocation franchise in two streams. So if you didn't see that, go to my uh, archive there and watch the first two. Um, so we moved Oakland to Salt Lake City. They are now the Utah Avengers. We have new colors. You can see that up in the corner there. It's uh, navy blue, um, kind of a bright, <clears throat> it's not really a teal, it's a very bright blue and gold. So, there we go. Better shot at the logo. Here you can see uh, there's a home uniform. Let's see if we can get a road one in here. It's just going to show me the home all the way through. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> That's where we are. So, if you were not here for the uh, off season, um, go back, watch uh, the last stream, the last last vod <clears throat> over on YouTube. I have uh, put bookmarks, timestamps, so you can go through there and look at that. Um, there's also a uh, quick review of all of the draft picks that we made in the first video so anyway you can see we have made some improvements to this team we are ranked 13th already speed was always good but uh we we got some power we were lacking power and we uh <clears throat> got pitching up to league average roughly so uh sign max freed Three-year deal, 17 mil per. Corbin Burns, three-year deal front-loaded at 13 mil per. Traded for Garcia last year. We have Spence and Sears this year. Estes is hurt right now. Um, I think when he goes off the DL, uh, we may send Spence down to AAA. Uh, Peter Finch was uh, I mean, a guy we grabbed off waivers at the start of the very first year. Um, Hess was a draft pick um, Pineda was a draft pick uh, we traded for Alvarado last year traded for Sandlin this offseason signed Yarborough as a free agent um, let's see Cordero and Nah were draft picks I'm not sure if, uh, if, uh, was it Cordero? Yeah, I think that's all we had. <clears throat> um, Logan Fury was our first round draft pick. See, he crushes lefties. He was a, he was originally a first base and, uh, right fielder. And we moved him to second base because his, uh, defense isn't great. We don't need him at first base, but we definitely needed a second baseman, Rosario. Has two years left in his deal, so Fiore should step in after he turns. Uh, after his two years, so he'll be 21 as a starter. We traded for Kobe Mayo. <clears throat> Signed Willie Adamas. <clears throat> three years, $13 million. Traded for Jared Kelnick. Extended him for three more years. Um, traded for Pete Crow Armstrong. Got him for a little bit here. Uh... Traded for Joe Adele. Um, traded for Zach Bean. Hasn't done much in the minors. So, anyway, so budget wise, we've spent 94 million. We have 40 million left. And you can see we've got money spent for three years. I think Castro and Kelnick and Ruiz are the only ones beyond three years. So, we will play with this team pretty much for the next three seasons um see how they go and adjust from there <clears throat> so anyway um we get to have opening day at our new ballpark power district park and uh it's a home game against the orioles so that'll be a good test right out of the rip max freed's gonna make the uh, opening day start against skyla bradish let me look at uh, look at the lamps real quick. So Bradish is a righty, so 
We're going to start off with Rosario, Pete Crow, Rooker, Adamas, Butler, Mayo. It's our power stretch right through there. McCann, Kelnick, and Tyler Nevin. He should not be. He should not be against righties. We flip him and Rooker. Play Rooker at first. We can play. <clears throat> We'll play Esty Ruiz, Butler, Pete Crow, and Kelnick. Second, short, and third. Rosario. Yeah, we'll just let Ruiz DH. <clears throat> Bottom ninth. Doesn't have a lot of contact and power. We can get on base in front of the other guys at the top, so. That's what we're going to do there. Again, here's our rotation. Freed, Burns, Garcia, Spears, and Spence. Um, Muller's long relief. Here's the rest of our bullpen. Two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Too many relievers. So I may end up sending one of those guys down. So... <laughs> Anyway, let's get started. Show you the uh, new ballpark that I made for these guys to play in. Made some, uh, we have 42 guys. Why did we have 42 guys? Oh, it's because it sent guys to the minors. That's right. You can get off their 40 man. And... Span... Ferguson. <laughs> Somebody needs to go down. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> let's see. Man, this guy doesn't need to get the 40 man. All right, let's try this again. All right, we don't have any uh, alternate uniforms because in their infinite wisdom, San Diego Studios decided they would not allow us to have more than two custom uniforms. So whatever. Let's see, what kind of uniform can we give these guys? And look at those. Road, let's give them a different jersey. To give them black. Orange, black, orange. Let's go with black. Nope. I don't want to play as Baltimore. Come on. There we go. This is the park I, I uh, made for us. I have another one here that's slightly different. But uh, I, I may rename that to a different different one. But this is the one we're going to go with. Hybrid, Clear Skies, Max Freed, Mod Rosario. Here we go. All right, boys and girls. Very first game, Salt Lake City. Let me turn this up a little bit. <clears throat> Just eight. So if I'm clearing my throat a lot, that's what happens when I eat right before I go on stream. go our top guys let's let this play through there's one more big signings mad max
as we did last year, 16 and 6 with a 250 ERA, good strikeouts. So that'll be uh, good to get him going. <clears throat> And with these custom parks, I don't know why, but the very first pitch when you play, it's it's stupid dark. The hitters and the, the catcher and umpire and pitcher are dark. It'll clear up as soon as I throw a pitch. It's just one of those things that happens when you have a created park. I don't know why. Now watch, see the difference after the uh, get the ball back. Yeah, much brighter. It's really weird. It's just a funky thing. <clears throat> Got him. It's a strikeout of Luis Garcia. It's a first strikeout in Salt Lake City. Missed. All right, let's try this 12 6. See if we can drop that in the bottom of the strike zone. <clears throat> Just missed on the inside. Let's go back down low with a fastball. And right to Rosario. Turn, throw. There we go. <clears throat> Probably should have played Langelier as a catcher and Slutterstrom at first. That would have been that have been the proper way instead of playing Ruiz, but it's okay. <clears throat> nice backdrop there in center field. All right, let's try to change it now. Got him. There we go. You got some luxury boxes there with party deck above, right below the scoreboard. It's Kyle Bradish, 13 and 9 with a 281 last year. Good season for him. And here's our first batter in Utah, Ahmad Rosario. You guys have to tell me what you think of the uh, the stadium. Ah, chasing. Swung as soon as he threw it. That was terrible. <clears throat> um, Pete Crow. He's uh, not quite developed as as. Uh, quickly at the plate but he's got great speed and defense and we need that speed and defense out in this deep center field so uh, that's why we traded for him we needed somebody that can go get the ball gap to gap that's his main skill for us is defense and speed once he gets on base ah. trying to fight that off 
All right, Brent. You definitely have the power, and it's blowing. Looks like right field to left field. Foul pole to foul pole, looks like. The ball will travel here. It's at altitude. We're at 4,200 feet, so the ball is going to travel. That's going to get down, and it's going to be held to a single because he got to it so fast. You see the wall is higher in left and right, shorter, a little bit shorter in center field. <clears throat> That's just because it's so far away. We didn't want to make the wall that tall all the way out there. Oh. This one might... Hardy again. Just blowing it right by me. Oh, and pops it up. All right. Hey, got our first hit out of the way. Brent Rooker, single right center. Ooh, just got a piece. Got him with a high change up. So not the location I wanted, but that was the result I definitely wanted. There you go, Rooker. That's it nice snack. Definitely a better first baseman than an outfielder. That missed. That's the ball. Drifts in, and there we go. There's three outs. You can see we got a lower fence over there in each corner, right in front of the little area that would be a normal bullpen if they didn't have the bullpens on the field. Um, so it's a uh, chain link through there, so you can see through, and it's shorter until it gets to where the stands begin. Kind of like Dodger Stadium a little bit. He's going to track that down. Yes, he is. Butler hit that good, too. All right, Kobe Mayo. He's our big young guy that we got. We traded uh, Geloff to the Orioles to get him. Moved Westberg back to third, so now they have Geloff and Geloff and uh, Jackson Holiday at second base. So they'll probably trade Holiday away, knowing how the CPU trades. Yeah, yeah, front. terrible AD. I had to turn his fan off. There's my nuts off. All right, so McCann hits well against right. He's not left. He's Langlier. Has great power against both sides. Doesn't hit for average against either side. We also have Soderstrom, who's going to play some first and catcher. And he fouls out. Have not gotten the uh, sticks going yet. Just that one hit by Rooker. That that was floated just a little bit too good over the middle of the plate. To see how deep this outfield is. Gonna need his speed and arm out there in center field.
Got him. There we go. What a throw. Flat footed at that. Aston Kirstad, we thought about trading for this guy. Here we go. Take the foul out. Escape that mini jam. Well, oh, that's a shot. Is he going to get that or is that going to be out of here? Deep to right. Gone, Jared Kelnick. First home run in the park. Jared Kelnick traded for him from the Braves. Paying off already. Adios, Pelota. Damn. He wasn't sure. That was a high fly ball. Look at that. Four sixteen. Boom. First row. Swinging in too many pitches, wanting to take one, try and push up that uh, pitch count. And then we chase. Take the good one and chase the shitty one. That's not good. We got Rosario because he can play multiple positions and he has great contact against both sides. So just want him to uh, be somebody at the top of the order. Oh, it's over his head, off the wall. The walls are tall enough that we shouldn't get too many of them hop over on these uh, huge hops. So that might uh, <clears throat> help us get some, some, definitely get some doubles and get some doubles where the guys on first base don't have to stop at third. Drives that off the end of the bat. All right, Petey. That's going to drop. That's going to be two, if not more. That's the deepest part of the park. We're going to send them. The first triple in the ballpark. So there we go. We've had our first single by Rooker, home run by Kelnick, double by Rosario, triple by Pete Crow, all in the first three innings. That is a deep part of the park right there. All right. All right, Rooker, see if you can get your first ribby of the season. Ooh, trying to get under that and launch that up in the air for a sack fly. Ooh, almost hit him. It's his second hit.
All right, one on one out, three nothing lead here in the third. A little rally going. Way out in front. That's going to be down. Base hit. Need speed in this outfield. <clears throat> All right, two on, one out for Butler. There we go. Stay patient. There it is. Oh, that's a no doubter. That was a deep shot too. How far is that? 481. I told you we got we're gonna get some deep home runs. Look at this. Bam. Four eighty one. Hit it over the stands back by that uh here. Here, let's him let him bring in a new pitcher. Let's see where this ball lands. Oh, he caught it right there. Girl caught it. Look, she caught it right there. Kept it from hitting the tree. I want to get a uh, picture of the... Uh, get this there. Hide the ball. Four eighty one. Oh, we're just hammering the shit out of these guys now. You know, they want to just put the ball right down the middle. There's not much we can do, but just keep swinging away. No, that's outside. Ball. Chased. Impatient. Two, one. We already have eight hits and we're in the third inning. Ooh. Well, I'll take the result. I, I pushed the button. That was supposed to be a full swing, but the game did not register a full swing for some reason and uh, worked to our advantage. All right. Two on, one out. Still only one out. Kelnick homered his last time. There you go. Drop one in. Oh, one. Wall scraper right over there. Right field. Towards center. First row. Butler blasted that 481 over that. Right where that tree is over here. Oh, he got under that. Man, we're not going to run. It's too shallow. <clears throat> All right. That gives us... Uh, Two outs, so we can get an extra step here. See if Esty can get a bleeder on the line drive. Ooh, way out front.
All right, that was a big inning. Kelnick and Butler go deep. <clears throat> Butler's was a monster, 481. Throw that change up now. Two. Let's see if we can drop this curve. Down and in. Don't hang it. Two and two. There we go. Donald's with the grab. And Pete, get there. He's got the wheels. Yes. <clears throat> big six run third inning last time up. Rosario's batting for the third time in four innings. There we go. Nope. Playing stupid shallow in this park. There's no way he should be playing that shallow. Good change if I was way out in front. No balls, two strikes. And then I was tardy on that one. Speed me up and slow me down. Rooker's got two hits. <clears throat> Just get a piece of that. Ah, dip in the PCI. Right. Sinker right down the middle. He went down and golfed it out. That's the first home run allowed to an opponent. <clears throat> Didn't get it down enough. <clears throat> well. It's going to happen in this park. We're going to give up our share home runs. with a change up if we don't get him on this one. <clears throat> one down. Hey, uh.
Got away with one there. That's supposed to be up and in. <clears throat> I was going to hit him. Adam with the slow curve. There we go. Through five. <clears throat> All right, Willie. For the break, somehow we were late. <clears throat> the right fielder, number four, Lauren Butler. The ball hit well. This one's going to be easily caught, though. Hey, I replied to the comment. Yeah. So if you want my stadiums, just go um, into the stadium creator and go to uh, like most popular or whatever. And you'll see a little like magnifying glass thing in there for search. You hit that and choose um, PSN ID. Um, or you can search by the name of the park, but if you want to look at all of mine, then you just search under my uh, online ID, which is just Von Rye. Make sure it's a capital V, a capital R. Everything else, lowercase, all run together. Um, and um, that should bring up all my stadiums. Um, you want the Power District, not Power District 2.0. It's a separate park, and I might rename that. So there's a bunch of them. So... Dinger Park and there are two of them in um, there are two of them in Nashville that are the same except one is at altitude for playing against the computer on Diamond Dynasty. There are two Treehouse Park in Oakland. Uh, the one that says 2.0 um, you can use for franchise. The other one is at altitude and it has like default walls so you can play against the CPU if you uh, get tired of grinding at Coors Field or something. And then all the rest of them are whatever their name is. Um, I have, uh, there's one called Windy City that you could use for either the Cubs or the White Sox. It's pretty cool. I might, uh, instead of using the park that the dude made for the White Sox, I might play the White Sox in that park. The, uh, it's a downtown park, so it's got a lot of tall buildings around it, and uh, it's got, I like the uh, shadows on that one. My boys are just, uh, 
blowing up my phone with text messages about the election, so. Yeah, I'm not getting that. There we go. Here, Batten, check this out. Since you just got here, you didn't see this earlier. And I gotta wait to it. There we go. Replay Vault. We'll go to Avengers and we will go to the third inning. And here's the first home run in the ball, in the new ballpark. Jared Kelnick sends out and out to deep right center field. Just gets over the wall. And then Pete Crow gets the first triple. He sends that into that deepest part in left center where that corner is. And he's flying around the bases with his 99 speed. Gets in with a triple. And then... Trying to get on the ball. There you go. And then Lawrence Butler sends this one 481 feet. And this girl catches it right there. <laughs> so, yeah. Very eventful, uh, very eventful third inning. And then uh, Adley Rutschman hit a solo shot for their only run. There's going to be home runs in this park because we're at altitude. We're at 4,200 feet. And that's why I made center field so deep like in Coors Field and why I made the walls taller. So if we hit uh, towering fly balls that think they might have a chance maybe they hit the wall instead of going over cuts down on ground rule doubles too there you go way out in front see if we can get him on the sinker he rolls it over rosario scoots and throws and there we go put that little portal thing over there by the scoreboard because the team's called the Avengers, right? So I was trying to do something superhero-ish. And yeah, McCann gets an infield hit. Alright, Jared. Yeah, these pitchers got to stop living in the middle of the strike zone because I'm going up there hacking. Uh-oh. We might have another triple here. Bats are out today at home. This backdrop is really nice. They don't get too many uh, like really bad glare from the sun and stuff. Um, can't believe I swung at that pitch. Um, it's a nice, nice park to play in. You can use it for a home run derby, but you got to do it as an offline home run derby. And he drills them. 92 speed. All right, so we got two guys that can really steal with Ruiz and uh, Pete Crow. And that's they'll play. Hey, two run triple though. 
70 pitches through six. Yeah, I saw they moved Contreras to first. I'm not sure I agree with that. It's probably because Pajes is better defensively and Herrera is better offensively than Pajes, so they want to play the two of them. They're not bringing back Goldschmidt. They think maybe they'll keep Contreras healthier, and they don't want him to DH all the time because they're going to need Gorman to DH or Walker to DH. Oh, shit. Let's see if we can get double play here. Now when you leave it over the middle plate thigh high, Gunnar Henderson sends that one to the back of the play area. 417 straight away right. I told you the ball's gonna fly in this park, man. That building over there behind the uh, lights, behind that section of seats, lights up and it's like uh, a gold color, like our accent color. Makes a really, really cool effect when you're uh, playing night games. Shit. Now they're breaking it open. He's not tired, so we just got to pitch better. Yeah. I had an idea for the bullpens. If they made the bullpens modular, like the stands... Then you could move them anywhere you wanted to, turn them, make them sideways, make them go straight out, whatever. As long as you make them fit with the uh, with the stands, make the ability to raise them and lower them. So if you want to stack them like Baltimore and Philadelphia does, um, so you know they could do it. They're just fucking lazy. It just keeps them from having to deal with stands that have weird angles and having to do the work to, to make the create those stands for us. not getting that one yeah and they're just straight lazy they don't want to put time into it and then they release stuff like the the monster the monster park stuff that nobody asked for um almost got him we need we need other other features god damn other features for the parks than some of the cartoonish bullshit that no one ever uses all right He's done. All right, we'll let him get one more batter, lefty. Wow, almost hit him. All right, well, he gives up three runs that inning, so he's done. Not the uh, not the greatest half inning, was it? Let them back in the ball game. This is kind of an American League Coors Field, so it's going to be what it is. It is what it is, like my sister says. This is our first game of the season. It's opening day. Oh. Ah, way out in front, we just got a piece of it.
Man, I was waiting longer and missed. I was the tardy on the changeup. It's like, all right, let it get deeper. Let it get too deep. There we go. That's the ball. Down is full. Ball four. Runner take your base. Now Number All right, Kobe. Your turn. Uh-oh, that might be out of here. Back to the track, to the wall, gone! Late swing, drives it to right for a three-run bomb, his first of the year. That's what happens when you hit those high fastballs that are up and away, hit them out to the right. Here we go. We got him for drive that outside pitch bam off his old organization too right through his wickets off the bag holy crap that Hit the bag and stop instead of going all the way through. That was really strange. Okay. All right, Jared. I know you don't like lefties. That's all right. Late decision swing. Fortunate that wasn't a ground ball double play. That missed. That's the ball. Yeah, I flinched. Damn it. Dipped just late and then dipped the PCI just enough to pop it up. All right, Ahmed. All right, fastball. I'll paint the corner, that's fine. I don't mind. Tell you what, guys, I am so tired. I had four hours of sleep last night, so. We are not going to do a marathon stream today. All right. 
bullpen. Eighth inning. Yeah, I got too many pitchers here. I need to send one of them down and bring up another hitter. Um, let's go with Nick Sandlin. Yep, same here. This guy's slider is just straight filthy. Set up for the slider down and away. Hit my spot. He's going to be out. Didn't hit my spot. One, two. There's a lot of ground to cover in center field. So, Batten, if you play in this park, make sure you have a really fast center fielder. Great defense, great arm, and great speed because he's going to have to go a long way to get balls in the gap. And you're going to need an arm to get the ball back in. All right. I'm of eight. This inning should be quick. I want to get this game over with and move on. What's up, Wild One? How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome to the first game in Utah for the Utah Avengers. We have been blasting home runs like crazy. I think we have three. Kelnick, Butler, and Mayo. A couple of triples. And we just hit another bomb with Rooker down the left field line. That is deep. Hooked around the foul pole. 463 to straightaway left. <laughs> Balls are going to fly in this park, boys. Balls are going to fly. Absolutely crush that pitch. Got eight inches there? What do you mean? Colorado got eight inches of snow. I know they are getting a snowstorm. I'm here in St. Louis, so I didn't get any snow. But yeah, it feels like we got eight inches of rain. <laughs> it stopped raining any day now, so my dogs can play in the yard and not be muddy. Yeah, chasing shit. That's three hits for Rooker. He singles in a bomb. Eight inches of rain. Oh, yeah. It's spread out over multiple days, though. Yeah. It's not going to rain again until Saturday here. And we went uh, like 27 days without rain back in September or early October. So it's just making up for it. All right, Butler hit one right where that tree is out there beyond the right center field wall. Ball outside. Just to the left of the second baseman, right there where, the, the, where I'm pointing at. Hit a home run there earlier in the game. Three-run bomb. Ah, don't swing at that. We'll play a night game in here as well so you can see what it looks like at night. Here. Nice pitch. Nice pitch. Oh, I'm so tired. So tired. I'm going to bed early tonight. 
All right, three and two, two out pitch. And I flinched and tapped it, and that was ball four, and I saw it was ball four. Can't get too upset. We've hit two tape measure home runs today. All right, let's bring in somebody else. Let's go with uh, Zach Jackson. Painted, there we go. Well, when you're you're like indie, right? There you go. Car came up blowing away. There we go. Park Hills flooded, yeah. There was uh, like three pole watchers died because they drove their car into uh, flood water and uh, a couple that were in their 70s got out of their car and uh, drowned. The other one, somebody drove through deep water and got stuck and drowned in their car. So this moron's got to Pay attention. <laughs> Can't be driving through water that deep. All right, opening day. We got the first game of the, of the season, the first game in a new ballpark done. 12-4. to 4. We blasted the Orioles. Good start, good start. Bam. That was a bomb by Butler. All right, box score held him to seven hits. Everybody had a hit. Rooker had three. Mayo, two. McCann, two. Kelnick, two. Home runs by Butler, Rooker, Mayo, and Kelnick. Triples by Armstrong, Crow Armstrong, and Ruiz. Max was having a great game. Decides to give up three runs in the seventh inning and kind of blow up his ERA. Bullpen does their job. So, hey, we got the first game in Utah out of our system. All right, now we have a night game. Corbin Burns and Grayson Rodriguez. We win 6-5. to five. Kowser with a home run. We did it off their bullpen. Bautista blew a save. And then we got three off Colombe. Look at all those hits. 14 hits. Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas hit a two-run shot. Rosario and Butler with steals. Burns pitched well. Bullpen pitched kind of eh. I mean, five and two-thirds and gave up four runs. It's not great. All right. Garcia and Eflin. And we got three wins in a row to start the season. Home run by Mullins. Home run by Mayo. Garcia pitched decent. Bullpen does their job. Three and oh, man. Can we get a sweep of Baltimore? No. Lose 8-2. to two. Jimenez and Herstead. Herstead with home runs. Butler with another home run. All right. Home against the White Sox. We win 5-2. to two. Ancada and Darno with home runs. Adele with a home run. Mitch Spence gets the win. Miller to save. Good. Crochet and Freed. And we lose five to one. Mancata with a home run. We scored off De Los Santos. Crochet shoved. Lose Zach Jackson. Four runs in the eighth. Not good. That was a close game. Let's do a player lock in here. All right. Thorpe is right handed. So. Pardon the yawn, my goodness. Um, let's do McCann. Yeah, it was way back then. Yeah, early 80s, 82. Yep. I remember it took me forever to dig out our driveway. <laughs> we missed like a week of school.
Ooh, way out in front of the slider. 82. Is it rainy or is it just overcast? It seems it's just overcast. Some of the lights are on. Hmm. Tried to golf that. Tried to get it before it broke in. All right, Rooker with an RBI. One nothing. He's gonna try and get me to hit a ground ball. Dodgers have won their eighth straight. They have all that pitching, and they signed fucking Bieber. All right. <clears throat> Line drive single there. Two on, one out. Kelnick's probably going to strike out since he has two strikes on. Mm hmm. I know how CPU works in this game. <laughs> All right, Esty. Two on, two out. Base hit through. Nope. I kind of forced him to go home and uh, got kind of twisted up, but we got the RBI. <laughs> Thought he was going to go and then he paused. <laughs> All right, 3 0 count to Rosario. There you go. Base is loaded. Oh. Next week, I have to go get one of my. Uh, I have to get a back molar on this side. Um, I have to get a crown. I have a pretty big filling in it, and it's starting to split the tooth. So my dentist doesn't want that to split and break on me. So we're going to grind that shit down and put a crown on it. So that'll be interesting. It'll be my third crown. No, nope, that's not going to score a run. Jammed myself. Good timing. Just right off the label. All right. It's three to two in the seventh. One on, one out. See if we can keep this away from a double play. Wind is blowing in from left. And straight in from left. through oh what a play not a double play all right jared let's go three oh count all four brings up ruiz with two on and two out Him. All right, base is loaded. 3 0 count. All right, they're going to walk in a run here. I'll gladly take that. Yep, there we go. Two more. It's six to two. front Ooh. Yeah. 
God. Damn, change-up's killing me. Oh. Nice ball game. Six to three. Three hits for Ruiz, two for Rooker, two by Armstrong. No, no extra base hits at all. All right, what's to put our record at? What's up, Tice Spot? How you doing, man? Welcome in. All right, we're five and two on the road at Cincinnati. So where are we gonna play on the road? Uh, let's play at Arizona. And then we can play a home game either against the Giants or Washington, right? All right, we have to send somebody down. Joey. Spence is doing well. What are you at? Zero three. So Joey's gonna go to triple A. One, two, three, four, five. Salinas is gonna go to double A. And you're going to class A. Yeah, no problem. All right, as soon as we sim this game, we'll finally get to look at our first, take our first peek at the draft class. Go scout. And we win seven to four. Butler and Adele with home runs. All right, we haven't saved yet, so let's do that right now before I get too carried away and we lose all of our progress. All right, scouting. So we're going to discover international pitchers. <clears throat> we're gonna do this a little bit different this time. We're gonna scout international pitchers and then we're going to scout a prospect. And I don't know why it doesn't tell me who my draft picks are. All right, I don't know where we pick. I think we pick ninth or 10th. Check this guy out. All right, move that to there. All right. And let's, um, yeah, let's play our lock. Another lefty. We'll just straight up go Rooker. Damas is struggling. Might have to move him out of that spot. Push him down. All right. One on, one out. Wind is blowing briskly out to center field. <clears throat> this is our first game with our road blues, our baby blues. What do you think of those unis? in safely yeah 
Yeah, the gold in their uniform is from the uh, Brewers. You know, when you go in there and you uh, go to set your colors, it has Major League uh, team options, and it's it's the gold from Milwaukee. The the blue, the navy blue, I think, is from Tampa Bay. All right, no score. Man on second, one out. Need to drive this ball. Oh, and I was way out in front. Way out in front. That was a hanger, and we missed it. We were so anxious. He's going to catch that. Uh, the baby blue, I just picked the blue, and and you uh, you can move using the joysticks. You can move it around the palette and make it lighter or darker or whatever. So I just pushed it straight up to the top, so it's it's the lightest. So it's probably one of the royal blues. The royals are cubs. There we go. He loves hitting them down the line, doesn't he? Um, so I just pushed it all the way to the top to make it the brightest blue we could get. Yeah, he hammered that one, didn't he? Hey, we forgot that. Look at this. Just straight line drive right around the foul pole. Bam, right underneath the scoreboard. And they respond with a three-run homer and a two-run double, so now we're losing. I swear, this game... Saw a game in this park, I don't know, about eight years ago. My son was in, uh, he was playing select baseball and uh, had a tournament in Cincinnati. He got to play at Xavier University. And uh, we saw the Brewers play the Reds in this park. And beyond where that Reds sign is and those flags are, beyond there you can see the top Right about there, you can see the, the top of the bridge that's over there. That bridge is a pedestrian bridge, and it goes from Cincinnati across Ohio River um, over into Kentucky. So we parked at a restaurant over in Kentucky and then walked across the bridge and went to the ballpark. Well, I knew it was going to tell me it was low. That's why I plugged one in earlier. Hopefully this one charged all the way. Yeah, it did. Okay. I might have to change Rooker's shoes. Either make him darker blue or make him that gold. Man, should have dove head first and beat it out when thinking about it. And we lose. Pete Crow, Rooker, both have two hits. Cannon and Rooker with home runs. Muller takes a loss. I've been wanting to do this um, relocation franchise with these teams um, since June. <laughs> um, McClanahan. Oh, we beat McClanahan 10 nothing. Wow, everybody had a hit. Rooker and Langoliers with home runs. Max Freed, six-hit shutout. Man, McClanahan got absolutely raped. All right. And then we turn around and lose one to nothing. So he beat him. 10 nothing, lose one nothing on a home run by MJ Melendez. Tough luck loss by uh, Burns. 
And then we win five to one. Rosario with a home run. Let me save. We are still a game and a half out. We lost 94 games or some shit. I can double check here. We improved their pitching and added a couple of bats. So, yeah, we lost. We were 71 and 91 last year. So, we're going to be significantly better this year. What's it say we are? 13th ranked. So, now we're in the uh, middle of the pack. Cardinals, we lose. Cardinals, we lose. Got to set scouts. All right, got 31 there. Found four. And we'll just leave him in there. for He's he's not going to be as good as we thought he was, but that's okay. Walker Buehler. <clears throat> Let's um, player lock here. Kind of want to try and get at least one player lock per series so we see all the teams. Um Let's go with Butler this time. They have Ringifo on that team too. And Vance Honeycutt is their center fielder. I wonder what they traded to Baltimore to get him. Overcast game. Walker Bueller and Ringifo are on that team. That's pretty funny because we uh, we had those guys. Oh, we're losing five to nothing. We had those guys on the Cardinals in our franchise. Yeah, jammed myself. Get down. Just got a piece of that. Just got a piece of that. Come on. It's tardy. It was tardy. I don't feel tardy. I'm still so tired from last night. One ball, two strikes. Might be off the wall, or it could sneak over. It's gone. There we go. Adios, Atlanta. Well, I'm only down ten to one now. <laughs> time all right 11 to 2 get through there we go two hits love it love it kobe's over he's due three and two count runners go strikes out i almost played the winner sound command <laughs> Can't do that. Wrong team. Oh, they crushed us. Herrera and Goldschmidt with home runs. Freed got pounded. Muller got pounded. Ugh, rough. Rough. We have ERA below four for any of our pitchers. It's going to be a good season. All right. Home against the Chubbs. And we win four to three. Brendan Donovan's on the Cubs. What the hell is that devil magic? JJ Blade. Remember we traded him to the Cubs on the uh, Pete Crow trade. He's 
to play in DH. Two hits for Adamas, two hits for Rosario. Burns pitched great. Miller got saved. Spike giving up three runs. He gave up Burns' one run and two of his own. Let's play a lock of this because we have a night game. Tyon's right handed. <clears throat> Let's go Picro. I need some sugar. Got a bag of candy from Halloween sitting on the floor over here. There we got some shadows going on in the stadium now with the sun going down. It's Jackie Robinson Day. What a hop right over his glove. Safe. Oh, bullshit. Oh, P. Crow goes deep. Into the kids' play area. There we go. Golf the shit out of that one. Now you can see what it looks like at night. See all the scoreboards and lights lit up and downtown behind it. Straight up in the air. Get out of play. Nope. Somehow caught that. And now we're losing 4-2. Six to three. I think in all of my franchises that we played, this is the first time we played on Jackie Robinson Day. Oh, that was right there, and I missed it. night one.
his eyes. Right, screw it. Got a bunch of hits, but we didn't score enough runs. Oh well. Let's go look at some stats. We haven't done that. All right, we are nine and nine. Half game out of the wild card. Rangers are killing it. 16 and four on the Dodgers. All right, Rooker 319 with three and 10. Pete Crow 379 with one and six. 270, 254 with five home runs. 239, 280, 250, 162. Corbin's doing great, 159. Sears is struggling. Alvarado's not getting any, so who do we need to move out? Alvarado and Sandlin are not. So let's move Kyle Muller. Hmm. All right, let's move Yarborough Triple A. And Infielder. Need an infielder. He's staying down. Let's bring him up. Okay, that's there. And Muller's got forty four. All right, let's do that. <clears throat> We win 12 to 4. Adamas, Noda, and Nevin with home runs. First round pick got dinged up, though. Let's go see. Uh, forearm tightness, one to six days. He's hitting 345. Slugging could be better, but he's hitting 345. So I already said we're going to leave him down in double A the whole season so he can dominate. And he'll go up in overall. The next year, we'll move him to AAA and leave him there the whole year unless Rosario gets hurt. And then after next season's done, then Fiore should come up and be able to play second base as our starter. Um, so once he gets uninjured, we'll go back down and maybe do a player lock with him down in, in AA. And he's back. All right, we were going to play another whole game here. And 
Gallon thought. Who do we want to pitch with? Spence. All right. So do you want me to pitch with Mitch Spence or do you want me to pitch with Corbin Burns? Because Burns is doing great in the sim. Let's let's do this. Let's do a Spence because we'll have plenty of times with Burns. Let's go with a young guy instead. And they're going to play City Connect. Ooh. So they're going to wear those yellowish against our bluish. Retractable roof is open. And here we go. All right. So we get to bat with Langliers and Nevin and Senzel and Adele for the first time. So they're wearing their Serpientes, kind of yellow ones, against our powder blue. So this will be a... Which hat? My hat? This one? The Expos? What's up, Jimmy? How you doing, man? Yeah. I had a different hat on. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock the Expos. I haven't worn that for a while. That's a ball. It's at this camera angle. You see the bill more than you see the logo. Uh oh, nope, not a home run. Not even over his head. I look at that, perfect, perfect, and it was just a line out to left field. Wow, that should have been. He just doesn't have the power. He only has 41 power, so that's the problem. That sounded really good. You love it? Yeah. My son, my younger son, bought it for me for Christmas one year. Get out of play. Oh! oh. <laughs> Corbin Carroll almost committed suicide. What the fuck? Look at this. Is that Carroll? Yeah, it's Carroll. Look at him go head first into the wall. Watch this. He's going to go head first into the wall. <laughs> head first. Dude, you're going to break your neck. Look at this. Ah. Here, can I talk about their, uh, their, their bullpen out here and how we can't make something that cool in Stadium Creator? We can't do that. Yeah. There you go. Should be a double. Yeah, I'm uh I'm I'm more of a Andre Dawson, Tim Raines, Tim Wallach, Steve Rogers, guys from the early eighties. What's up, Specta? How you doing? Welcome in boys. This is our First stream with the new Utah Avengers team. We we pounded out three home runs, four home runs on opening day. Lawrence Butler hit one 480 to center field. And, oh, it's going to be caught. Yeah, I'm tired of the Dodgers too, especially if they sign Soto and then they sign Roki Suzu Suda, Suzuki or Suzaki. Roki Suzaki, is that, is that it? I'm tired. I'm tired of the Dodgers just buying all the fucking players. Yeah, we hope they don't sign Soto. I'd rather he goes back to the Yankees. They need a salary cap and a salary floor. These teams like the Pirates need to fucking spend money. And I'm not talking like... I'm not talking a... Uh, the... Uh, the the tax that they pay for going over. It needs to be a hard cap. They can't go over. And all of those contracts like um, Shohei that are deferred money, that shit counts. Whatever the year, whatever 
whatever your money divided by years, that's what it counts against the cap. You can defer all that shit out, but it counts against the cap. All right, we're out of that. Oh, man. My Cardinals are cutting salary because they want to go back to developing their own prospects. They make enough money, they don't need to do that. They're just making up excuses to go cheap. Yeah, everybody used to say the Yankees ruined baseball back in the late 70s and 80s when free agency first came out, but they didn't win after 81. They, they missed the World Series for a long time. Yeah, they should have fired that manager after last, not this year, last year. And they should have fired their GM last year. We'll see what Ein Bloom does with the team. Because he's taken over as GM after this season, but he's in charge of uh, adding all the pieces they need for player development and getting back to having all those good young players come up out of the minors and drive you guys crazy. That's a shot. Is he going to get to that? No. Off the wall. Almost made it. Yeah, they should have cleaned him out before. We're moving uh, Contreras to first base. Should just fucking trade him. Ugh. All right, Nick, you're on the team specifically to hit lefties. No, his knees are not bad. They they have uh, two other younger catchers that are better defensively, and they're paying them, you know, 17 mil a year or whatever. So they'll put him at first base, and that leaves DH open for Nolan Gorman and Jordan Walker. I think uh, Contreras has at least four years left on that deal. Yeah. Well, it's not going to get the run home, but at least he moves him up, so a base hit will score another run, or a run. Come on, Joe. We picked up Adele because he has power, and we're playing in that American League version of Coors Field. Jimmy, have you seen my new ballpark we've been playing in? Yeah, Gorman should play third base. To get rid of Arenado, Gorman needs to go play third. His range won't make it as much difference at third. And he played. Yeah, Goldie's gone. Somebody, I don't know who was telling me last time that they thought the Brewers were going to go after him. He'll have a bounce back year. What the fuck? Easy ground ball. He just takes a hop, will throw, and air mail. CPU decided that there was going to be an error on that play as soon as I feel the ball. Same shit that happened to us in the World Series with the Cardinals two years ago when, when uh, we lost to the Rangers. And I got pissed and didn't play for two months. Got him. He's out. What a stupid move that was. All right. 
What do you think of those uniforms, Jimmy? You like those? I know you like the Serpientes, man. He's got to get these baby blues from the 80s in here. Yeah, they're just kind of nice and plain. Big Utah across the front. I mean, Yankees don't have gaudy looking uniforms, right? They don't have a bunch of big colorful logos. And then you got the, the really cool home ones that are cream and have the big A on the chest. Come on, Willie. I know you don't like batting against lefties. A little early. <laughs> Just a little early on that one. One ball, two strikes. Now oh, that's going to drop. It's not going to be a double. I'll take the single and then we can try and steal away around. Jimmy, I traded for Pete Crow Armstrong to play center field since we have such a huge center field. Safe. Bullshit. <laughs> late. Late on the swing. No, it doesn't. Pete Crow's got the day off. We got a Dell in center field. No, Spence is a real player. He was on the team to begin with. Shit. That was a sinker. My relay guys didn't do me any favors there. Ruiz has like 99 speed and he couldn't get over to the ball. From his knees, got him. Oh, come on. I was I was in there better than that and he called me out. Well, at least we kept it in the infield, so it's not a RBI. Fuck, we are getting no breaks whatsoever on defense here. Do us a favor. what you get with young pitchers <laughs> whoops whoops
Oh. Not a good half inning, was it? Hey, Jimmy, we, uh, we passed sports gambling in Missouri. These fucking idiots also increased minimum wage, so everything's going to cost more. He's going to track that down. Yeah, it was on the ballot. I don't gamble, so I voted no. <laughs> they, they're like, oh, this will raise $100 million for schools. Yeah, right. You're going to take $100 million out of the budget and divert it somewhere else and take this $100 million and put it back in the budget. So you're not going to get any more money for schools. They're just going to divert that original $100 million somewhere else. We already know how that works because it was supposed to work that way with gambling. That's why we had first riverboats and then we had casinos. Oh, they're going to generate tax dollars for, for schools. Didn't raise any more money for schools. All the surrounding states have sports gambling, so... Come on, Larry Butt. So it means we can we can play uh, FanDuel and DraftKings and all those other ones and don't have to have a out of state address. It'll get through. I don't bet on sports at all, so it doesn't bother me in the least. My only sports betting is playing fantasy sports. It's just a longer term betting. Yeah. It's not day of. Come on, Tyler, you kill lefties. Look at that. 82 contacts, 77 power. Why we have you on the roster? We need you to pound lefties. Yeah, that's a double put. Oh, it's two outs already, so it's not a double play. <sighs> 42 pitches. Nope. Well, we need to figure out how to pitch with this guy. If we can get through at least five, if not six innings with this guy, turn it over to the bullpen. Ball, that's out. Yeah. Just no, no pitch luck in this game at all. There we go. Hey, that was very helpful. Very helpful. Thank you very much. Who snuck that shit right inside the bag? My goodness. 
That was a tomahawk inside out slasher. All right, Joe. Let's see what you can do. Watching good power right now. All right, man on third with less than two outs. If you can get the ball past the pitcher. In the air to the outfield would be good, but past the pitcher would help. Does not have good contact to power against lefties, but his clutch is kicking in right now at 86, so that does definitely helps us. There we go. That'll get the run home. Productive out. All right, Esty. Yeah, jammed. All right. Oh, well, we got one back. He's got a lot of off-speed stuff. He's got a curveball. He's got a change-up. He's got a slurve. He doesn't have just a four-seam fastball. He's got a he's got a sinker and a cutter. So he's he's not going to throw anything straight. Be a low pitch inning. Go cutter and come back with a changeup. All right, just over 60 pitches, not bad, not bad. See if we can work our way back into this game. Nope, it's going to catch that. That's a rope. Man, Rickers, he's a good player in this particular uh, roster file. So I went ahead and signed him to an extension back in year one. So he's cheap still. Three mil per. Is that going to get down? Yes. It's not going to score because I had to wait to see if he's going to catch it, but. Langoliers gets a double. Tying runs on deck. All of a sudden, it's a game. Come on, Lawrence. Lawrence of Arabia. He's an English guy. Can fight the Turkish. He'll get one in. All right, Tyler. Swing, bunt, go foul. He has one job, and that's to pound lefties. Let's 
So we have Nick Kurtz at first base in AAA that we can go player lock with. There we go. And we have our first round pick, Fiori, that we can player lock in double A. Maybe between this game and the next full game we play, we go down and play with those two guys in player lock. Senzel's the same as uh, Nevin. He's on the team specifically to provide flexibility position-wise and to pound lefties. There you go. I think he got all of it. Nope. All right. Flaw back into a two-run game. He's only at 62 pitches, so... Get him back in the game. Hold him to a single. Good job, Adele. Yep. Got him. Yeah, we just, uh, we're trying to get guys that can play defense, have decent speed, and have, especially have power. So, if they can play outfield with some speed and maybe add a little pop, that's great. Or if they can definitely add pop and play adequate defense in the outfield, that's what we want. one there. This dude's running up his pitch count now. Three. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, that's why we traded for Pete Crow with his, his uh, 90 plus defense, 90 plus arm, and 99 speed because... Our uh, our new home ballpark has got some deep corners in in the outfield, so he's got to cover gap to gap. Balls hit straight to left and right are pretty much going to go out. All right, new pitcher. Ooh, swung right over it, right over the top. Does not have good contact, but he does still have good power against righties. Put that on display there. It's just a can of corn, though. <laughs> All right, Willie, you hit much better against righties, so let's see if we can find grass somewhere. Ah. Should have let that go, even if it was a strike. All right, Esty. You need to get on, buddy. Nope. A weak sister fly ball in the shallow center. That was a quick half inning. All right, we're going to no new pitcher here because my guy's getting tired. Got three righties in a row. Let's go with Miguel Castro. Paying this dude over a million bucks, you might as well use him. There you go. Doing the job. Two outs on three pitches. Got like that. Three outs on four pitches. Well, he'll get the pitch the next inning, too. All right. That was a fast entire inning for everybody. A.J. Puck. 
Come on, Ahmed. Two eighty eight, so his average is up. Just trying to fight that off. That was a filthy ass pitch. All right, Brent. You're the man. Ooh, party. One thing I thought about doing, instead of replacing the A with the uh, A logo, I could just take the wings off the A logo and slap it on the A that's on their jersey. Oh, I tried to hold up. That's not good. Come on, Shea. You got some power. Make this a one-run game. I'm not opposed to finding a long-term solution to catcher. We've got uh, plenty of options at first. I mean, I could move Soderstrom back to catcher, but he's not the greatest defensively. We already got our, our long-term second baseman. Adamas is going to be here for three years at short. Plus, we got a young guy behind him. We've got the young guy in Mayo at third. We've got Butler in right. We have Rooker at first base, left field, DH. We got Pete Crow in center. So we could we could use whether it's Ruiz or Adele or something like that for left field so mostly we need a we need a catcher you know we need good starting pitchers so maybe left field and catcher and pitcher the three most important and we can we can move guys that we draft out to play left field You guys know Brandon Satterwhite, iDedge Gaming. He uh, he did a video on his YouTube channel about MLB franchise and all the stuff that he thinks they need to improve on. They need to improve the draft class hitters for sure. There's not enough of them. Not enough usable ones. They don't progress fast enough. And all the guys that are A's, they're like in the mid-50s. They take forever to progress and so they're not usable, you know, you can't draft one of those guys and play a franchise with them because you're going to be done playing by the time they're ready to come up and play. It's going to take them a good six years to get to the majors. Fuck, I hit him. Oh. Didn't hit him. There we go. Back door. No ball, two Got him. Ball, that's off the plate. Ball, that's out. I don't know if you guys know uh, that I know catcher Kenny Kenny Piper from the Durham Bulls. Um, my son Kyle he used to play with him growing up 
uh, went with me to a uh, bridal shower for he and his, his wife. They're going to have a baby girl right before spring training. So we got to go hang out at his mom and dad's house for like five hours last Saturday. It was pretty cool. Had a fun. Talked a little bit of baseball, but mostly it was, you know, just hanging out with friends and stuff and not making him talk about baseball the entire time. All right, we got to get two in the ninth to keep this game alive. And in comes Justin Martinez, whoever that is. Sinker, slider, splitter. Ooh, everything's down. And he throws that one up there. Hawk. Swinging at the arm. I've got to go to the bathroom so bad. I'm drinking too much water today, so after this game, I'm going to take a bathroom break for a sec. There we go. Brings the tying run up to the plate. comes Mr. Mayo. Hit a home run in that opening day game. <clears throat> first player that we, uh, first young player we got in the series. Oh, quit swinging at shit. Fucking ball bounced from the catcher all the way to the mound. Sliced and diced. That was a terrible at bat. Oh, early. That was the pitch. That was the pitch, Jimmy. Fuck. Got to be patient. Wait. Let the ball get deep. Now we can move him up. All right. Single should make this a one-run game. He can take an extra step here. That's two wild pitches. All right, he's all the way to third now. <laughs> okay, we'll take that. And we whiff on the pitch out of the zone. All right, well, we won the first game we played. We lost the second game. Nine hits. Spence had one bad inning. Gave up all five runs in the third inning. All right, well, we pitched him long enough that it brought down his ERA just a touch for that particular game, but not for a season. All right. Max Freed, Zach Gallen, and we lose 7-2. to two. Let's go look at scouting. All right. So this guy is nothing special. Found more pitching prospects. Okay. All right. Fielder. Could be. Let's look at this guy. This guy's got some pop. He does too. He's not going to be, he's going to be in the 50s. This is what I'm talking about. This guy could be a B, A or B potential. 
in his 20s, but he's going to be like in the, the mid to high 50s. So that doesn't help anything. Same thing with this guy. <laughs> he's 23. Let's check out this catcher. It still won't show us our draft picks. What the fuck? I don't know how many picks I have and when we're picking. And we got swept. So now all of a sudden, remember we were like, I don't know, 9 and 3. And now we're 10 and 12. Well, maybe not 9 and 3, but we won the first three games of the year. We won five of the first seven. And since they're in 5 and 10. At Seattle, we get the win, 8 to 3. Noto with a home run. Garcia pitches well. Lose five to one, win three to one. McCann with a three run homer. Spence, one unearned run, so he bounces back. All right, we're going to play another full game. Um, I said Washington or San Francisco, so um, we're going to play one of these night games. So, do you want to play San Francisco or Washington? And while you guys are deciding, I have to run to the bathroom. So, Throw it in chat. Do you want to play the Giants? Do you want to play Washington? I'll be right back. We are back. Let me refresh here. All right. San Francisco. It's either Blake Snell or Nick Bavetta. Since we just played against the lefty, I don't want to play against Snell. So we'll go against Pavetta. Reads okay. Strained finger. Give up a solo shot to Elliot Ramos. Rooker with a home run, three RBI. Look at that. Four five. Yeah, four stolen bases in that game. Freed's three and three. Pitched great. And uh, Pavetta. So let me save again. Who 
Who's on trade block? Garrett Crochet. Wow. He's going into arbitration and free agent. What do you want for Garrett Crochet? We don't have enough. <laughs> Rooker and Mason Miller are not enough for Crochet. Wow, really? Matt McLean. Miller and Mayo. No. Fry. Fry can also play catch. Kurtz and Senzel. I would trade him Senzel, but I'm not trading him Kurtz. And we don't even need Fry at their base, so. Murphy, Bart, right? There's Zardo. Kershaw. There's a catcher that can hit righties. He's a left-handed bat. C potential. 75 overall. Nope. Can't trade for him. Soler to DH. That would put Rooker at first all the time. Make it 14 million though. Oh, this guy, Jimmy, this guy's good in uh, franchise. So I finished up my Cardinals season five, right? And I advanced to the off season and did all the moves for the team. Um, and I let Donovan, Brendan Donovan go as a free agent. And I was able to make a trade and get Kevin Alcantara because I needed somebody that could hit lefties to platoon with Newt Bar. And he's like taking over and he's, he's, he's killing it. He's got like 18 home runs halfway through the season. What's Manzardo? What does his ratings look like? And 10 miles to watch him play. Hey, he's doing really well. Um, Let's get in here, play this game. And once we get done with this full game, once we roll into the next week, then we'll we'll do a player lock with Kurtz and with Fiore. Just remind me. All right, full game. Black or orange jersey? Which one do you want? I'm going to change the pants. Orange? All right. Pants will go gray. And then we have ours, and we can't touch anything. We don't have any option, so... <clears throat> So this is our park. I have another version of it here. It's completely different, but this is the one here. Here's Treehouse. Remember that? All right. So Dinger Park, Batten. If you're still in here, Dinger Park and Music City Stadium are the same park, except this one is at altitude and it has the generic outfield dimensions, so you can play online. And this one has custom outfield dimensions, so it's only for franchise. Same thing here. Treehouse Park is the one for playing against the CPU. It has the generic outfield dimensions, and it's played at altitude. And then this one uh, is, is the one that has custom outfield, so you can't play it against the CPU. And it's, it's the one we played in at Oakland, and then I upgraded the right field seating later. This is a Royals new ballpark that I made, new Tampa Park, Charlotte. I moved uh, Washington to Charlotte. And this is the Windy City one that we could play with the Cubs or the White Sox. So, but we're going to play in Power District. 
overcast. Uh, let's not go overcast. Let's go partly cloudy. Corbin Burns. Go. Nice little tour of the ballpark. Home unis have the gold bill instead of the all blue. All right, 220. Pitching great. Fuck, hangs the curveball first pitch and it's out. We're going to give up a lot of home runs in this park, man. It's 4,200 feet. <laughs> That's foul. Fuck. Three pitches, two home runs. That's not how I intended to start this game. Deep shot off the backdrop. Jonah Bride, who the fuck is that? All right, how about a change up? Finally, my God. Tyler O'Neill's on the Giants. I have not figured out his release point yet. There's Pete Crow. <laughs> All right, Pavetta. Pitching decent. Rosario dropped 50 points off his average. Jesus. When we were batting in Arizona, he was hitting 288, so he must have gone 0 for the whole week. You guys like the backdrop on this and the city and everything, the way it looks? I, I think uh, I made, like, multiple sessions of adjustments to this park. I think it's in pretty good shape now. Is that going to be out of here or off the wall? Nope, on the track. If he had a little more power on his ratings, that would have been gone. Ah, don't swing at that. Opening day, he had a triple over here just to the left of the batter's eye. He draws a walk, we'll steal with him. There we go. No double play now.
Should let that go. One ball. Two right, get him to third base. Couldn't bounce, so he could run. And these home ones, Jimmy, they're wearing uh, their cream, like the, the Giants' home creams. I took the gold color that's on, on the trim and on the hat and just moved it all the way straight up on the palette. And it made a, made a gold. There we go. Wild pitch. Hey, Wild pitched them to third and home. This did. Wild pitch helped us though. Got us a run back. So two to one. See if we can see if we can throw pitches that don't get hit out of the park this inning. There we go. Hey, what do you know? Third baseman actually fielded that ball. Usually when they hit it down the line like that, they just take one step and fall down and it goes into left field. See a tree over there, right there by the target? I hit one over there. First game of the season, we hit a 480-foot home run just to the right of that tree. Some girl in the stands reached over and caught it before it went behind the tree. Dig, run, 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 beat it out. Here we go. Oh, inside out. Okay, quit swinging at the first goddamn pitch. All right, Jared, you hit the first home run in this ballpark. Swinging at the first goddamn pitch every time is not the answer. Oh, 
off the foul pole. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little tour of the ballpark. Alright, that's high enough. <laughs> and you can see we got some luxury boxes over there. Up above. Got a little uh concession stand over here. And these are all like luxury boxes as well with little party decks above these lights are lit up so at night you can actually see them it, it shows up looks really good and then when you these guys can walk up here and get something to eat and walk all the way up there go to the there's another concession stand on the back side of that some other over there over there big concession back there there's a bathroom over right right there more concessions there's another concession in the corner you can't see it kids play area another one there connected the uh, decks together there and there's a little higher bleacher section above that so anyway yeah it was uh i made this in stages so i had a different I always had that big building as my backdrop in center field, but the stuff around it has, has evolved over uh, two or three different sessions of playing with Creator. We're kind of limited in what we can do. It's really annoying. front let's throw a cutter down and away show off that 99 speed yeah fuck 11 ds not 100 percent sold on the blue seats though Reached. Oh, took a little off there, and I was way out in front. Nasty pitch. He's a soft tosser. He doesn't throw gas, so. Just trying to uh, work his pitch count, see if we can make him lose yeah there you go leave one over the middle of the plate I tweaked my mid back it's really giving me trouble come on Petey no I wasn't saying no that it wasn't a swing I was saying no don't swing get that good enough timing was good but it was more on the label this park will this park will be lit up nice and bright once we get to uh, complete darkness come on Brent
All right, he's off with the pitch now. <laughs> How did I miss that pitch? Got him. Chase. That's foul. Him to chase. Thank you. Home run distance with foul. There you go. We had in front of that sinker. All right. Much better inning. Didn't give up home runs. <laughs> Come on, Willie. We got you for power. The uh, roster file I'm using for this franchise was the last one that they did. There we go. Speak it into existence, Vaughn. That was a shot. We're looking way over 400 feet. Give it to me. Give it to me. 489. <laughs> Jerry, I'm telling you, I have this power, and I have no control over it. If I move the bullpens where we put them, the, the two spots in left and right field, that the slots that are open, Right by the foul poles is where I would put bullpens if they didn't have them there and we could get rid of all of that extra space. Because we're looking at, the, you know, we're looking at uh, bullpen. Oh, back to back. Adios, if we could move the seats closer to the field like they do in real life now, then those would be the bullpen areas. Bam. We built this team to be like the Rockies. Miracle version of the Rockies. We need strikeout pitchers. Bad. Really bad. As many strikeout pitchers as we can. Because if they don't put the ball in play, they can't hit it out of the park. If I was building the staff for Colorado in real life, I would go after as many high-octane arms as I could. Just strike people out. Yeah, sometimes you're going to get hit and it's going to go a long way, but it's going to do that anyway. So the problem with Coors Field is all the cheap hits that get dumped in front of the uh, outfielders that keep the innings going and the balls that get to the gap and extra base hits. So if you can strike people out, you'll cut down on that stuff too. Curveballs don't work as well at altitude either, so you don't need those. What a catch. You don't need those kind of guys. You just need guys that throw sinker, slider, fastball, change up, and, and uh, you know, high 90s, low 100s. You, you want fireballers, as we used to call them back in the day. Back to back, tie this game right up. You actually have more hits than they do now. Nope. Two balls. 
Got him up to 59 pitches in four innings. He's getting tired. Oh, and Kelnick makes it a three home run inning. <laughs> I'd say that was like 430. 431. Holy shit on the nose. Well, just for that, boys and girls. <laughs> Not only did we hit three in the inning, I called the exact distance. All right, well, let's get to it. <laughs> How about that? Four th I said 430, and then I said 431. Look at that. All right, let's pause this and do the shot. <laughs> Jimmy, we're doing damage on this bottle. It's down to here. <clears throat> I'll take three solo home runs in an inning. That works. There have been five home runs hitting this. No, six home runs hitting this game. All three of their runs and three of our four runs have been via the home run like I said gotta keep the ball in the ballpark here ooh alright that was a triple shot bam Let me get a picture of Corbin. Not necessarily for this thumbnail, but for in the future. That's foul. Got him. Warm him down. All right. That was a quick fifth. Stay back. That ball had no chance to be in the zone. That wasn't much better. Oh, and I just want to go on record and say uh, Mason Wynn got completely fucked out of the gold glove in the National League. Oh, and we go deep with Pete Crow this time. <laughs> 395. Or 11. Ooh. Started a little bit uh, slow, but we got the uh, solo shot on speed dial now. Ah, terrible pitch to swing it. The fuck was I thinking? I need to take that scoreboard where it says Adamas over there. 
and the out of town American, the out of town scoreboard on the far right, and there's another ribbon, and just run them together so it's all consecutive, with no brick in between. There'll be more brick on the outside, but I need I need to push those together. <clears throat> Pick that one, but all parks can hold that one. Pete, bam. <laughs> Rare ground ball. How did he hit that to right field? There have been eight solo homers in this game. Come on, Pete. You got the wheels. Dig, dig, dig. That's why we got you. That would be at least a double with anybody else out in center field. Probably missed my spot there. Got him way out in front. Pop that straight up. All right. Back to a one-run game. I don't know how he hit that curveball that was down and in, out to right. Ethan Small. You're killing me, Small. Now you can see the stadium all lit up, completely dark. See that building over there in the far right beyond the stands? It's all lit up gold like the uh, secondary color for the team. And then we got a little portal thing over there by that other scoreboard by the flags. Oh, it's way out in front. Way out in front. Way out in front. Again, Lopez with the shutout. 10Ks for his shutout. McCann. Ah, late, late, late decision. Not good. Not good. Yeah, that's a lazy play ball. All right, through six, nine outs to go. Got to keep the ball in the damn ballpark. Just snuck that past the third base bag. Good throw, and he is out by a full stop at home. There we go. Way to go, Butler. Nice, strong throw. Oh. Hey. 
You went. All right, pitch around that possible trouble. It's probably the last thing for Burns. Good pitch. You know what? Get better defense with Adele in there, too. There we go. That's an extra base hit. Smart move by the manager to get that guy out of there and bring in the guy on the other side of the plate that has power. Stand up double. Nota actually has better power against lefties. Tyler Nevin has even better power, though. Oh, wait. We have to have uh, Nevin bat in the ninth. We'll do that. Here we go. Got him to third base. Productive out. Man on third. Less than two. As long as we don't pop up or strike out. Okay, get this ball out of the infield. Ooh. Trying for that strikeout. Switching to circle hitting. We're going full contact. Yeah. Huge run that we wasted away. All right, Pete. He went deep last time, but wasn't on this guy. Yeah. Beat him to the bag. Oh, that would have been a run. He's got better defense. He's in the 60s. He's got a better arm, but his reactions to You know, I'll move him. Um, eight. 90 pitches. He's not tired. So we'll go a batter at a time. Got away with one there. There's two outs. There we go. We can bring in Mason Miller for the ninth if we can get through this last guy. Nope, that's the ball. There we go. All right, Burns did his job. Four solo homers is all he gave up. All right, Brent, you're over. You don't want that. Way over it. Way over it. Come on. Let me pitch the drive. I hate change ups.
He does not hit lefties nearly as well. All right, Butler's homered once already. He actually does not have bad splits, lefty-righty. Look at that, 76 contact, 63 power. So he's definitely an everyday batter. And we hooked it into an out. All right. New pitcher. He went. There we go. Straight gas. Got him. There we go. I know this isn't the Cardinals, but. All right, played three games on camera today. Two wins at home, one loss on the road. Everybody had a hit but McCann and Noda and Rooker. I'm sorry, looked like more. Bunch of one hit days, but <laughs> we hit four solo homers. Corbin Burns gave up four solo homers. <laughs> so. Okay, that's how it goes. All right, let's go down to double A AA and triple A, play one game of player lock with two of our better prospects. And call it a night. So we're 14 and 13. So this guy's got good vision, good contact against lefties, good fielding. His arm is kind of sus. See how his power turns out. All right. I don't think we need any 38 starting pitcher prospects have been scouted in this region. So let's move this to central. We'll go one more, two more weeks in this section. We don't need to scout any more of those. Yeah, we'll keep looking. We do need some pitchers. So. So double A is Fiori. 
so let's go do that. No. Yeah. They're both in double A? Okay. That's fine. So let's do Nick Kurtz first. guy was the uh, A's first round pick this last summer. You know, five overall. First baseman from Wake Forest. Dude can absolutely rake. And he's crushing it in Arizona Fall League this year, too. I forget which mode I'm in, and I'll hit L1 to run, and it changes the camera. All right, three to one. And tried to go with it and just popped it up instead. All right, five to one lead. Be nice if we can get this pitcher out of here and get a righty in. Hit that well, but it's right at him. Eight to three. Just replace one lefty with another. I don't know we were going to have all these lefties out of played with Fiore instead because he crushes lefties. He threw. Safe. And he throws it in the dugout. There we go. Second and third. Here's Fiore. One for two. This is our first round pick. And he's going to knock that down. And is he going to beat it out? No. But he does get an RBI on the play. He is not fast at foot at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Come on. Clark Elliott, let's go. This is a real A's prospect. He draws a walk. Who's up next? Nick Allen. Nick the Toolman Taylor. Come on. I know it's Tim Allen. And that's going to go right to short. And can't beat it out. All right. Hey. Wow. Nine to seven. They came back, of course. And now we get a right hand pitcher. And those blue uniforms they're wearing are like electric, they're so bright. There we go. Down into the corner. That's a poke. In the second with a double. Our second hit of the day. All right, Fiori. Right to the bag. All right, two down. Elliot next. No, Thomas. Gonna go and try and beat the throw. Safe! Got the run. There we go. There we go. And we get the dub. Kurtz, one for five. Fiori, one for four with two ribs. Alright. 
Well, let's go back down, advance a day, go back down there and see. Let me see who's pitching for them. A's lost four to two. Wood and Cruz with home runs. Sunzel with a home run. All right. <clears throat> 11.05 day game. Ryan Jensen for Wichita. I think he's right-handed. I don't know who Wichita belongs to. Yeah, screw it. He's a righty. Yeah, I guess we'll try it. It's not going to do as well because that's not his strong side, but maybe we can help him out. Wind looks like it's blowing in from right field. Maybe the right field pole to the left field pole. It's blowing across. In and across. There we go. Get down. He, go, 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 go. He is so goddamn slow. All right. RBI double. Thank you. Might have to adjust his speed just a little bit. He's like glacier slow. <laughs> now we're down four to one. One of these days, I'm going to try to do something completely different. Going to find a stud player in the draft, and we're just going to play a whole season as them. We're not going to do any major league games unless they go to the majors, and we'll play their season. We won't play every single game with them. Um... Although we could play a lock every single game if we wanted to. So it's kind of like a road to the show. But inside franchise. Career mode. Oh. Gotta get that pop up from the right side. Two on, one out. See if we can get another extra base hit. Ah. Snapped off at the end. That gonna get down? Yes! RBI single, there we go. Just take it the other way. Yeah, do not ask me to steal. He's got his steal rating's 40, but his speed is 19. So we're gonna have to get that. We're gonna have to get that speed higher. Need to put his speed at least 35 or 40. 19 is just 
The dude's 19 years old. He's not that fucking slow. It's not like he's 6'5 and 250. He's six foot, 200 pounds. What a deep shot. getting down he's not throwing the ball all right Dominic this guy plays for Tampa Bay in the minors I picked him up as a free agent before I started the stream picked up a few guys in their 24 to 26 range that are just sitting out there Still down two. And we lose. All right. That was fun. Here he is. Bam. That was a double. He looks like Arenado. Logan Fiore. He looks like Arenado. I'm going to fix his speed because 19 speed is unacceptable. I don't care. It's not like he's 35 years old. He's 19 years old. <laughs> that made him a 75. <sighs> That's okay. He's going to max out at like 80 anyway, so it don't matter. All right. Max Freed's back. Garrett, Stone Garrett with a home run. Two runs off their closer. And... Let me mute this and play that. My uh, earbud died, and I'm not going to bother with the other one because we're almost done. So, Adamas, two home runs and three RBI. Did it all by himself. Wow. Spence pitched well. Miller gets his eighth save. And the last day of April, we win one to nothing. So, we finished the month 17 and 14. We were under 500 at one point. One point. Five hits shutout. Didn't get the complete game. Adele with a home run. And that was it. Solo shot in the seventh. All right. Now that we're done with the month, we'll go in here. We're seven and a half games back. We are in the wild card hunt, the very last wild card spot right now, but it's a tight race. We're only through one month. Scored 132 runs and given up 112, so not bad. Losing record away, losing record at night, so we like those home day games. Stat-wise, we got Rooker, 5 and 15 with 311, so multiply 5 by 6, we had 35 home runs, and 15 times 6 is 95 RBI, now I'll take that. Rosario, 242. Pete Crow, 292. That's, um, what? 48 stolen bases. Not bad. Same with Ruiz. Adamas on pace for 35 and over 100. He's got to get that average up. Butler's doing okay. Mayo's doing okay. RBIs aren't there. Senzel's doing good in a platoon, which is why we have him. Kelnick. He's done well when I've played him. He just hasn't done well in the sim. It's probably his vision is why. Adele's playing better. Langoliers. I have to make him the starting catcher for a bit. Noda's doing fine. Nevin's doing okay. Pitching-wise, look at that. Sears is the only one with a shit ERA and whip. Everybody else is doing it very well. Very acceptable. I said anything under four this year, we're fine because of our ballpark. So think Coors Field when you look at these guys. And Kyle Muller, he's already used all his options. Might have to send him down. Zach Jackson, Jesus, two whip. Eight walks in 12 innings, three home runs. So we're going to have to fix Muller and Jackson. Maybe we give him another month, and if that's not doing it, then we'll uh, <coughs> send guys up or down and trade them, whatever. 
Miller's got 16 strikeouts and eight and two thirds. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad, Mason. What is that strikeouts per nine? 16.62 strikeouts per nine. So, yeah, I think he's doing a good job as our closer. Um, didn't want to do that. I wanted to do double A. <coughs> Logan Davidson's doing well. Levon Soto's doing well. He's a C potential. Nick Kurtz, not bad. Keegan, doing really well. Fiore, doing really well. 17 ribs. Got to like that. Pitching wise, Brody, Peter Finch. You know, I think he was somebody we picked up as a free agent the first year. Hess was a draft pick. Look at that guy. 14 strikeouts, no runs allowed in nine innings. Triple A. Peniagua's doing really well. Although Williamson is in the closer role, looks like. Joe Rickles. We picked him up as a free agent before. 24 strikeouts in 17 innings. God damn. I love that. Starting pitching over here. There's Astis. JT Ginn. Yeah, we can we can uh work with some of these guys, move them up and down. Jacob Wilson, that's our shortstop. He has no power. And Jigbo is just a free agent pickup. Soderstrom's got six home runs. Rodriguez, we got him from the Twins. So. Leading the awards, Oswaldo Cabrera. 355. Mike Trout lead at 359, 10, and 25. Of course, Shohei. 13 home runs and 30 RBIs in one month. Strider and Shohei are going for the Cy Young. Flaherty. Mason Wynn hitting 360. But Pasquantino hitting 406. Greater all. He has 16 saves in one month. What the fuck? Look at all these saves in one month. And a month in like a week, part of a week. That's ridiculous. Drew Gilbert, Jackson Holidays with Miami. When did they make that trade? Jaime Salas. He's a 19 over 19 with 71 overall D potential. So he's already higher than he'll ever be. When did he get traded? <laughs> Big yawn, sorry. Not a whole lot out here. Although Iglesias has great contact. We can always pick him up if somebody gets hurt. All right, let me save that. May 1st, May Day. We're going to call that a day. So. All right, we got our first season in Utah started. I've been dying to get these games played, play in the new ballpark, show you guys what it looks like in the new ballpark. It's a fun stadium to be in. You can see it plays like Coors. We're just going to bomb home runs. And uh, got to keep the uh, other team in the ballpark. So, all right, what is today? Wednesday, I would say possibly Friday night. Possibly Saturday night, one of those two nights. We'll come back and play a uh, month of May and uh, see how it goes. Um, my my streaming schedule is kind of dependent on my wife's work schedule. She's looking for a full-time job. Um, she's doing like, um, she was making six figures and got let go. She's doing contract work for a company for a hundred bucks an hour. Um, in the meantime, she's also working at like Costco just to bring extra cash in while I'm refing. Um, so I stream, I like to stream when she's working out of the house. So I don't have to worry about it. So that's why the schedule is kind of flaky. So anyway, in the meantime, we're both looking for full-time gigs. So I'll keep you posted on that. Cause that might affect my ability to stream at all. So we'll see. 
But thank you again. Appreciate it. If you guys watch the videos over on YouTube, do me a favor. Hit like. It kind of helps the algorithm so other people might find me. Um, comments are great, but like also helps with, in addition to the comment. So can we? Oh, we're going to go raid FG. FG's got Madden 25, and we'll just go raid him. So I'll get this raid going, and we'll head on over there. And uh, keep uh, keep posted. Keep keep looking at the uh, um, notifications over on Discord because I, when I go live, I post. Actually, I'll I'll post the thing that I'm live before I ever go live, so that it has time for you to see it. So anyway, you guys take care, and uh, I will see you sometime over the weekend. Let me start this raid, and we'll head over to FG. Looks like they're doing uh, they're going through a draft right now. So you guys take care again. Thank, thank you again, and I will catch you sometime this weekend.